Yo, what is up everybody? Exus here and welcome back to Artifact Seeker. Today is a pretty special day because tomorrow, March 24th, this game fully releases. And the devs have been super kind and super awesome. They gave me five keys to give away to you. Now, to enter the giveaway, YouTube is not very good with giveaways. I need you to leave a comment down below, say hello, say giveaway, whatever you want to say, I just need to see your username. But also, you also, this is the important part, there's gonna be a Google Doc in the description box and in the pinned comment. I need you to click on that. You need to enter your YouTube username, which is what you see when you make a comment. I need to see that. Plus an email address that you have access to. Because that is the only way I'm going to be able to get you your code. I will be the only one that has access to any of those. And as soon as the giveaway is over, I'm deleting it. I'm not saving any of your emails. I promise. The developer won't have any access to these emails. This is going straight to me and my inbox. I just, that's the only way I have to give it to you guys. I know, but that's just the only way, unfortunately. So t this giveaway will only be for 24 hours. So when this video releases at 9 a.m. on the 23rd, it'll be over at 9 a.m. on the 24th. Now, I will do a video after this showing how I pick the winners because it's going to be a randomizer. But those winners will have already received their keys because I will not be able to make that video. It's, it's the way it's, it's working. I won't be able to make that video until Monday or Tuesday. OK, so the winners will already have their keys when the video comes out. But this is super exciting. We're going to get into this. I've been talking for a while already. Let me show you what this game is all about. So this is your basic screen. These are your soul gems. This is what you earn during the run and afterwards. You use them to upgrade things, buy things, all that good stuff. We're going to go through the buildings really quick. The tavern. It is not bad to have a drink. So you can enter this. There's like kind of story things. Characters will appear here. You can have a drink with them, answer some questions, etc., etc. This is also how you unlock your characters. So you go here. I have them all unlocked. So yes, yikes, yes, yes. Um, <laughs> then you can go to the magic council. This is where you're going to spend your soul gems and upgrade your stats. I do have some that's already upgraded. You can do survival damage economy and there's others. Uh, the black market, which is unlock the camp smuggler who will sell better contraband after upgrading. So you upgrade them. I haven't upgraded them at all, but I have him level one and he sells you little things. And he just gets better and better. And there is a ton of stuff. The artifact vault. So here is something also very fun. And I hope you didn't skip because you missed out if you did. All these artifacts that you earn can be shared with other people. Now, there's if you click this button, outer artifact, this comes up. It says, please enter the artifact share code. Now, this might not be implemented right away, but if you enter code Exus in there, hit confirm. You will receive a tier five dice of gods, which is a luck based item. So you get 20 luck plus 1% range, plus 1% more soul gems, plus 7% more enemies, plus 7% more crit rate and 3% more dash distance, which has a synergy of luck. The devs were cool enough. They asked me what I wanted. That's what we took. So enter the code. So the problem with this as well, if you hit X, it closes it. So you're like, well, how am I going to enter your name? Type it on Google, copy, paste it, Xs, paste it into there. It works. I promise. That's what I did here. Look, it pasted it. Boom. It works. Hit confirm. You unlock this. Awesome. Thank you to the devs for that. Now, this is the church. Basically, this is just your knowledge. This is it's an encyclopedia. It shows you what you found, you know, what synergies works, what stuff like that. Now, there's different ones. There's the skill encyclopedia. There's the artifact encyclopedia. Just kind of a cool place to do this. 
Now this is the blacksmith shop. This is where you will unlock your weapon and your weapon skills. They just unlock with soul gems. Like I only have this weapon with this character, which is the character we're going to play today. Uh, there's an enhanced tree, which you can enhance the weapons. It's pretty detailed. I'm, I'm super excited for this game. The obelisk. It lets you see your achievements and missions. Now, when you complete an achievement, you're able to come in here and claim your reward. There is tons. I've claimed a ton already. There's tons for building, enhance, events, others. There's just so much. An endless portal is exactly what it sounds like. It is an endless mode. Super awesome. Castle is where you're going to spend most of your time. You're going to enter here. You're going to, you can do special challenges. Why not? Cool. Awesome. Get from the gods. I'm not 100% certain what this does. But today we are going to be playing Alina. She is a blind priestess raised by nuns. So that is who we're going to pick. She starts with a minus 5% dodge, plus 0.5 crit damage, and minus 10% scavenge. But she starts with Vortex of Death. We're going to take her. We are going to pick her only weapon that we have and her only skill, which is Reaper Scythe. We're also going to pick our dice. Now, let me go back and show you really quick. What I need you to do when you first unlock my dice is you need to go to others and you need to up your divinity level. That should be one of the first things you do because my dice cost a lot of divinity. And you'll see I have 11. I've been playing, like I said, for a while. You won't. This costs seven to use. We're only going to use our dice. We're not going to use anything else. So we might not even get a skill. I don't even know if that works, but that's what we're using. It's in our artifact. We're going to go to max difficulty. We've never done max difficulty before, but I just want to show off boss HP plus 220% boss attack plus hundred percent. And you can see, I'm not going to read them all, but you can see what they do over here. And after seven minutes of talking, we're going to get into this game. How is everyone doing today? I hope everyone is doing well. I am doing fantastic, excited to show you and get through this with you. So we get to choose a path. This is the map. Um, you have a backpack. I have no items right now. So these are elites. So we, I'm going to probably just take that road. So we're going to start at the top and we're just going to go that way. But here we are auto attack on. I do believe. Yep. Dash is left click. My main skill is right click. And here we go. These are your skills. In the beginning, they come up pretty fast. Uh, we're just going to level up the Reaper Scythe because it is death and puncture. I don't think any of these are death. So I'm just going to level that up. Perfect. Now, it looks like it swings very fast, so maybe we'll grab something else. Uh, what is this one? Uh, I don't know if I like any of these. What is this one again? It's death. So we can always change skills later, which I think we might. Let's take dark. Do I have puncture yet? No. Yes, I do. We're going to take this one. Get a little bit more skills going. They do have cooldowns, as you can see. Uh, let's go ahead and grab another one. Level it up. Uh, I'm going to grab... Ooh, that's death. Let's grab Skeleton Soldier. Well, that did some damage. I like that. Puncture Dark. Puncture Annihilate. Let's go ahead and do it again. Skeleton Soldier. There's these potions that you can pick up. They'll heal you when you are low life. Don't recommend picking them up. Other than that, uh, Summon Lightning. I'm going to refresh. Summon fire, dark flame cocktail. Ooh, let's just go skeleton soldier again. Now, sometimes on the maps, they will have items and they'll show you where those items are like this right here. There's a potion down there. We don't need it, but that's OK. All right. What did we get? Lightning blood. I don't want frost. Let me reroll one more time. Fire dark. 
We're going to take this one because it's death. Let's take this one. Reaper's Call. That is a frost worm. Level 8. Sweet. Shows the damage we've done. This is your, your shop where you can buy artifacts. Um, we have 2,200 gold. They're pretty expensive. I'm going to grab skill cooldown because that one move takes forever to go. And then we are going to... We'll return. We don't, we don't need those. We need to go this way. This is an encounter unknown event. So these are events. They will have little stories. You are walking along a deserted path when you suddenly hear a groan coming from ahead. You quickened your pace and found an old man sitting against a tree. You can tell from the equipment and clothes on his body that he is also an adventurer. He was wearing a tattered leather armor with deep wounds on his chest and abdomen. Blood was flowing out, staining his clothes and the ground red. His face was pale, his eyes were dull, and his breathing was weak. You approach him. You're trying to help him, but he said something to you in a language you didn't understand. You can only feel his anxiety and fear from his tone and expression. He seems to be warning you or asking you for something. He used up his last strength and whispered, Outer Artifact Code. TM. His voice became smaller and smaller until it disappeared into the air. His eyes were closed forever. TM. You don't know what these letters mean and your heart is full of questions and curiosity. You took one last look at the dead adventurer and decided, bury this adventurer. Take the backpack away from him. Let's bury him. We got a ring. Continue your journey. While burying the adventurer, you discover an artifact hidden in his jacket. Sweet. So we got an artifact. Very cool. We got Ring of Infinity. The legend says that whoever possesses the Ring of Infinity can control time. Minus 5% cooldown. Plus 8% dodge. Minus 8% damage. Toxin spread. So it's not bad. It's not terrible. Uh, this is death. Let's take this. Dark Hammer. Sounds cool to me. All right, let's go. We got to go this way. We're going here. Ooh, what was that? That was crazy. So there's like little events too. You stay in here. Stuff happens. Get an artifact. Got an artifact cube. There's something. Oh, these are experience cubes. You want to grab those. Or experience piles, excuse me. I don't like any of these. No. What is that? Tornado Hound? That's kind of cool. I want the little scythe. So you see my synergy over here, the little death scythe? I want those. Let me refresh one more time. Yes, Reaper Scythe. We can level that up. So let's do that. So you can come over here. There is a shrine which you grab and it has a cooldown because it will come back. Which is very cool. So these are okay. So this is my vortex. This is my this is my left click. It's like a dash, right? And then that's vortex. The orange potions will refill this. Why? Hold on. Why these are both on the same mouse? I have no idea. Mouse mold only. Hold on. What was that? There we go. I'm like, something's over right here. I don't like that. Okay. I'm like, that shouldn't be happening. I shouldn't only use the mouse. So there we go. Space is my dash. Right click is my vortex. I was like, I was so confused right now. I don't like any of these. Come on. Give me something good. These are not something good. I mean, I guess we could go dark. I'd rather refresh one more time. We'll take our Reaper Scythe. That is fine. That's fine. So the orange potions, like I said, they'll refill your your right click, which is like kind of your big ultimate move. Now, remember, I'm very strong in this game right now, so I don't want you to think that it's going to be this easy for you because it's not. Uh, we're going to take this because max health is good health. And I don't like negatives. <laughs> um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and continue. It shows the damage breakdown after every every one, which I really love. Uh, we're up to 5,000 gold. We could take more XP, which I do love. We can take more HP, which again, I do love. Armor piercing. I don't think I have any synergy with armor piercing, so I'm not going to grab it. We're just going to keep our money and we're going to move on. We're going to go to a normal fight. <laughs> so I really do enjoy this game. I think it's great. I like the graphics. 
like the characters. Hopefully in time, there'll be more characters. I mean, there's always you always want more characters, right? I mean, that's not greedy, is it? <laughs> we got a magnet. Magnets are they do exist here, which is really good. Going to keep upgrading our scythe. Which seems really awesome now that we're messing around with it. Got some cooldown on it. Got some soul gems. And you just want to get so many soul gems. Because that's how you unlock everything. That's how you become super duper powerful. But trust me, the game is... The game is difficult. When I first played this game, I did die. Um... But yeah, it's been a while. So we're going to click our vortex again, which I really like the, the animations for it. Also, if it gets too crazy in the options, you can lower the skill difficult or the visibility. You can raise your viewing distance. Far is kind of weird. You can change your audio, your controls, which you saw. Customize the visibility and colors. So that's really nice. Very cool. Also, you can save your run. Say you got to run somewhere. You just hit exit and save, quit and save. You can come right. You can come back to it. It's very fun. Very cool. We're going to take dark hammer. We're still missing a skill that we want. Oh, yeah. Our scythe is finally or our, yeah, our scythe is finally starting to take over in the DPS department, which is perfect. Ooh, move speed dodge, but skill cooldown. Obviously, all your stuff over here. I'm going to take this stealth boots. I I'm not going to take it. They are very very expensive. Oh my. Uh, more resources. Spend resources to get more resources, essentially. Uh, my dodge. I know it started in negative, but we got something. Dodge don't. We'll take dodge and we'll return. We'll save our money. We could lock these, but they're, we'll find better. And here's an elite. This is exciting to show you. Elites are cool. So these are our little skeletons, by the way, if you, did, if you didn't know this set. Uh, this is crit rate and damage. Okay. Mad Grizzly Bear. They do have telegraphs, which I was out of that. I don't know about that. Hold up. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, give me the give me the the max level scythe. Now, what's really cool is Skills evolve. And hopefully we can get that next level and I can show you exactly what I mean by that. Come on. Got him. Got an artifact cube. Perfection. Good, 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 good. Also, I have a talent that slows the enemies by 10%. So here it is. It's a super skill. Reaper Scythe. Once you have it max leveled, the next level, it will be a super skill. So, yeah. Now they're just going to be doing lots of damage. And popping up everywhere. Love it. Love to see it. What did we get? Ooh, here we go. I do like me some luck. I don't really want to lose armor. I'm going to grab this. The elven flute. It gives us luck. What will it give us? Enemy respawn plus 3%. More enemies, the better. Strength plus 4. Uh, we could use some strength, couldn't we? Let's go ahead and take that. I like that. I like that a lot. Ooh, our summons doing the work. Okay. I see you guys. We're not frost. We don't need that. Uh, move speed. I do like move speed. Go ahead and give me that. And then we're going to return. Keep saving our money. Treasure. Ooh, a treasure chest. Oh, here we go. Hold on. Wind Fury. Enemies that are knocked back will receive a certain number of wind strike damage. That's kind of cool. So we are none of these. So I want to refresh. We have one refresh. Uh, oh, I like this. SP point. Ooh, potion mix. Let's take a dragon heart. It does lower our crit rate, 
but it's going to give us some more. Um, and we could sell it if we wanted to. It gave us holy power, lightning, and luck. Okay. Okay. Listen up here. Dark puncture. Yo, can I get... Um, we're just going to take dark sword. Because it does synergize with the other darks. But it's not what I wanted. Let's go to another elite. So we have this. Let's get this first. These pigs right here. These pig walking pigs. They leave poop on the ground. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna do uh, Reaper's Call. We're gonna grab this artifact. You always want to grab the artifact. Like, that's a must. See the little poops? They left it on the ground. Alright, skill cooldown. Alright, there's a centaur. Let's go ahead and right click on this dude's face. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. I walked into him. Heavy damage. Ooh, gold. Love to see gold on the floor. Magnet? Yes, please. Probably should save those till the end. Uh, let's go uh, Skeleton Soldier because that was our second damage. And if we can get that to a super skill, that would be awesome. Now look at that. Now we have full uh, special once again. Because we collected a bunch of orange potions, which are random. Ow. Oh, don't pick it up. No, I wanted to use my skill before I picked it up. Bunch of healing potions over here. I am not mad at that. They actually, they added in stuff that, um, from the last time I played, I don't remember there being a bunch of projectiles. I could be wrong and remembering wrong. It's been a little bit since we last played this, but I don't remember that. I just, I don't. Let's go Dark Hammer. So it's hammer time. Can't touch this. Give it all to me. What do we get? Ooh, here we go. We're not toxic. Where's our death one? We'll probably just take this. The vampire cloak? Give me no negatives. That hurts. <laughs> um, but you know what? I'll take luck and armor too. How about that? Oh gosh, why you do this to me? So price is ten percent less armor. Man, they didn't give me like any. Wow, the reaper. Look at the reaper's damage. Holy cow! Max out reaper damage. Uh, yes, demons pendant. That sounds great. I'm buying my shop refresh back that this took away. What, what took it away? Can't remember, but it was this one. Huh? I don't remember. I don't remember. Uh, but let's just return. We'll just keep hoarding our money and you'll see why. Because campfire. It's if, you'll see why, why right now. Um, there's different things at these camps. You can buy skills. You can buy these guys. Uh, the enchanter can enchant your stuff. Now look. I have my dice. I can reroll the FXs. I like my stuff. I don't want to reroll. Um, bonfire recovers HP. I don't think I really need it, but it's fine. This guy sells cool stuff too. Um, and the artifact. He will. You can sell artifacts. Like, like say you got an artifact you didn't want. You can sell it. Cool. Uh, we're going to see if we can find another death skill. Landmine is a death skill, really? Uh, let's get rid of the sword. Yeah, we're gonna buy this, get rid of the sword. Confirm. Okay, let's go to the enchanter. We can probably reroll this. Minus 2%, I like it. Nice. Okay, good. We got rid of, let's see. Can't roll, roll, can't reroll this. Those are not affixes. These are affixes. Um, yeah, we'll reroll armor. Nice. Reroll fire. Crit rate, cool. Annihilate. Stimulant. Oh, that's cool. Uh, let's do holy power and shatter. Oh, I don't like intelligence. Trap skill, it's not us. And you only have so many. 
Um, scavenge plus 12. That's huge. We don't have toxic. Let's go ahead and grab, get, get rid of toxic. No, let's get rid of lightning. Fire. Unfortunate. But that was fun. Uh, artifact master. We can buy something. We refresh, see what we get. We're not, we don't have any of these. Come on now. Dark? I do have some dark, but minus 10 luck. Ooh. Ooh. No, thank you. Refresh one more time for fun. Scavenger, gold bonus, move speed. What's our move speed? I want to be slower. YOLO. <laughs> All right, now we're going to fight. We're going to leave. And now we're going to fight the boss. Ooh, let's get, yeah, let's get the skeleton soldier. That means he's close. Um, What's artifact shop? Okay, it takes you back to that. Cool. Uh, why is our backpack? Don't have nothing. Let's see the boss. Usually there's an elite before the boss. Okay, so that's, it's, it's just literally a basic landmine. It's not a bad thing. So this is the elite. Don't be baited by the elite and waste your special. Been there, done that. Also, don't get hit by the elite. How about that? How about that? Uh, let's go ahead and do dark hammer. And just kind of like run them into my minds. And then there's the boss. Remus. None. I give you the chance to leave my forest. <laughs> Little dog. If you wag your tail, I might let you go. Start praying. He has a big health bar. He yelled at me. He does a bunch of these types of things, which I think is super awesome. The telegraphs. I don't know if we got hit there. Soul gems, gotta get, gotta get the soul gems. Potion, huge. Like I said, he has a ton of life. He's gonna take a minute. This is also the hardest difficulty. That's not. Um. Ooh, here we go. Maxed out. Now we can get the better one. There's a way to um up your difficulty, which is really neat. Oh, we can do it again. Do it to him. Right on his face. So yeah, he has a lot of life. He has a lot of life. I don't know if we were quite ready for it. We'll get it. We'll get it done, hopefully. We'll get it done. Cast it on him again. I feel like we're just waiting for those cooldowns to spawn. That's all right. Get out of his his crush that he does. Let's watch out for these. We don't want to get hit by any of those. Feel the wrath of the Wolf King. Oh boy. He is enraged. He is not a happy camper. Oh boy. I've never seen him do this. Well, this is quite nifty. Ooh, super skill. Let's go. Come on, super skeletons. I need you to do some work, man. We'll get out of that. I don't even want to know what that is. All right, we have some health potions, which I'm going to go gather because we, we don't want to be low on health. We don't want to just die. Kind of going around just gathering stuff too. Get out of this. He's a tanky boy. That is for certain. 
Ugh, this is demonic power. Who the heck are you? Sorry, my sister's attack was too severe. Let me help treat your injuries. Don't come here. Ah! <laughs> Love it! Alright, so he's down. Good. Good, 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 good. We have no refreshes. So what we're going to do, mostly because I don't really care for any of these, uh, let's sell the most expensive. Confirm. Ooh, 20% damage, but only... F Ooh, let's buy that. Yeah, let's buy that. That looks good. That's fine. And you're like, well, why would you buy that? Why do you need it? Because... That's not the only map. There is one more. At least there was in the other one. There was only one more. I don't know if there's more, but we'll find out. Go strength. Go move speed. We have some money to spend. Armor piercing. Sure, I guess we'll do that. We just got a ton of damage, so I'm actually going to take that skill cooldown, which is really good. All right, so here's the second map. Let's go. I want to fight stuff. I don't like these. I mean, I don't mind them, but that's one elite, two elite. Perfect. We found our way to go. We're going here. And now we have new enemies. And the, ooh, there's a there's an event down here. There's someone stuck in a cage. So we're going to stay close to rescue. Which can get crazy if you can't handle the enemies coming at you. But there we go. We successfully rescued the NPC. Let's go ahead and get the... Let's get the dark fan of knife. <laughs> uh, and then you'll see over here, this purple thing on the top is a... A buff, which is skill cooldown 50%. Ooh, skill cooldown is so good. It's so good. Makes you very, very strong. There was an orange potion somewhere. Okay, now there's more over here. I do like that they show you where stuff is and you're not just randomly looking for stuff. Nice. So now our right click is working again. Or not working. It's off cooldown again. And we got a potion while using it. Another one. Send it again. That's just really good luck. Which might have something to do with our luck skill. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you think about this game. If you're excited for it. I think it's pretty fun. I think it's going to be like $8 in Steam. Uh, it's on sale for, I think, the first couple weeks or week. I don't know exactly the time, but it's, I think it's normally $8.99, which is a pretty decent deal. Those are huge damages compared to the others. Huge. What is pharmacist? Healing potion and energy potion become more effective. I like that. Buy me that. Catnip. Okay. Okay. Shop refresh. Give me all those. We're just going to save. We're saving. We're going to go to the event. On the distant mountain slope, there is a purple tent that you notice that has been engulfed in black shadows as the night sky around the tent has been stained even darker. Walk towards it, of course. You see a young fortune teller sitting in a tent with her dark hair dancing wildly in the night wind as though she had already been swallowed up by the darkness. Her gaze towards you is heavy and sinister as if there is an indestructible force tearing at your heart. In front of her, a silver crystal ball emits a worn and deadly aura. Suddenly, the fortune teller speaks. Her voice is deep and venomous, as if coming from a grave. The one who is controlled by fate. You have sunk into the darkness of the abyss. Your future has been buried in boundless fear. But only by coming out of the deepest darkness can you see your true self. Do you want to explore yourself in this dazzling night sky? Believe in your good luck. I have luck, so we're taking that. The fortune teller extended her finger and lightly touched the crystal ball, closing her eyes and seemingly pondering something in this quiet space. Only her breathing and the sound of shattering echoes in the air. Her thoughts were entangled in the deepest mysteries of the universe, embracing unknown forces and being drawn into the swirling, incomprehensible grip of the universe's black hole. In this endless void, the fortune teller slowly gained some kind of information. Seeing a blurry image in the crystal ball, the fortune teller suddenly opened her eyes, looked 
looked up at you and slowly revealed the results of her divination. I see a giant eagle in the sky, putting in all its efforts to catch every little bird. However, sometimes it has to learn to let go of its easy prey and wait for a bigger opportunity. You were skeptical and left the tent. I got 10,000 coins, 1,000 soul gems, huge. And just as you walked a short distance, your foot suddenly kicked a piece of wood. As you bent down to examine it, you realized it was a treasure chest filled with gold coins. Continue your journey. That was cool. I like those little events. Uh, let's go fight some more enemies. Let's go. Let's do this. I really do hope you're enjoying this. Uh, thanks again to the devs. They've been super awesome. They've been in constant contact with me. They really have. Um, they even out of the blue. Uh, this was a while ago. They even just messaged me to say Merry Christmas. Super awesome. Like, I can't state that enough. They've, they've been super cool. Super awesome. Super excited to get this game to you guys. I'm so happy they decided to give us some game codes to make a giveaway. I fortunately don't have more. Um, can't give it to everybody. But there are definitely some devs that you would that are they'd be cool to support. I don't use my dash enough. Did I get smaller? And I do like the music again. Hopefully it's not copyrighted, in, which I don't think it is. But you get so nervous. It's just, it's just a little nervous when stuff like, you know, when it comes to copyright. That does some major damage. Let's do Reaper's Call. I like Reaper's Call. And I like how they have different weapons. They can start with different skills. It just makes the game that much better. Different weapons will do different things, too. So, like how we started with uh, the Reaper Scythe, you won't if you choose a different one. Which is neat. Oh, they're doing big damages. I need more super skills. <laughs> uh, I will take uh, more XP. More luck. I mean, you can't beat luck. Death skill power. That was huge. Crit rate. Got to take it. We have so much money. I don't really need to refresh. Ah, why not? HP. I'll take some more luck. I don't want to keep killing my dodge. Our dodge sucks. But... YOLO, we got death skill power, even better. Minus two soul gems, never. Let's return. Uh, we're gonna fight the elite. Also, this is my third video recording today. My throat is killing me. <laughs> oh boy, I have a feeling the dodge is um, a, a needed skill, a needed skill. Um. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's you. Oh, please. Get me. Oh, my word. That is so many enemies. Hello, gold pile. Was that some throat singing that I hear? Okay. Oh, let's just let's cast our big move. Let's go. Ooh, wee. Get me out of here. Oh my word. This is. Uh, this is getting quite intense. And we still have 30 seconds to survive. Oh, we can cast it again. Let's go. Oh, it's almost. It's almost there. 12 seconds. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Nice. Ow. That hurt. Reaper's call. Let's go. Pharmacist is really helping. It heals us more. How much damage did we do there? And then a, then a magnet pops up. A sticky web. Oh. Ooh, summon skill power. I think this we have summon skills. No, we do. Take it. Nice. Luck loot range. I don't want to lower my loot range and my luck is pretty good. My luck is 84. <laughs> um, 
Let's just sell this because it's most expensive. Confirm. <gasps> Confirm. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. That is some, man, the skeletons are doing some work. I'll buy some dodge. I'll buy some armor piercing. Uh, we'll hit the reroll. Claw of the Harpy. Increases. Oh, I'm going to buy this. I think it's worth it. I do. Uh, we're going to go from here, though. We need to go this way. So this video will be a little longer than normal videos of this game, just because all the talking in the beginning. I had to make sure you knew how cool the devs were. Let's get over to this, uh, whatever's, whatever's over here. What are you? Sacrifice enemies to activate the altar. Don't mind if I do. Ten thousand gold, yes, please. Thank you. Oh, and also, if you want to see it, I will. I will show you your viewing distance. It can go pretty far, which I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all, actually. Hold on. Kind of lets me see a little better. Oh man, potions. They're so good. Oh, magnet. I saw a magnet. Let's go. Let's go. Magnet. Boom. Magnet. Yes, please. Reaper's call. Gimme, 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 gimme. You know, kill as much as you can. Five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. One grab magnet. What did we get? Pearl earrings, crit rate. But my luck, no. I will take this though. Give me this one. And intelligent death skill. Like it, like it, love it, need it. All right, this is going to be next. We're going to get that next. Are these magic? I don't even know if they're magic. How do I tell? No, they're not. I think it's a little symbolist. All right, I will take armor piercing and some health. Sure. Do I hit a refresh? I hit a refresh. Sage robe, we're not holy. Oh, armor piercing? I don't want my, my right click to do more damage. We're not going to grab that. One more shop refresh because we can. And we're going to use it. Death skill. Oh, that's huge. Oh, that was big. Get me out of here. Oh, we got to go this way. Okay. Ooh, treasure. Magnetic salvage. When you pick up a magnet, you can get the salvaging bonus when auto picking. It will not be less than 100%. Okay. Sounds good to me. Reaper's call. It's a super skill. And then we go to event elite fire boss. Yep. You've come across a peculiar structure that appears to be an abandoned palace based on its exterior. The doors of the palace were unlocked and you gently pushed them open and walked inside. As it turns out, it was an ancient library filled with books as numerous as the stars. You smell the scent of a trap. Don't take any chance. You were, as you're about to pick up a book of ancient magic to pursue a furry hand reached out and took the book away. You looked up and realized it was your old friend, the enchantress, Catherine. Catherine? Catherine. She I almost said Catherine. Uh, Catherine, she informed you that this was her library, and if you wanted to read the books, you would need to pay her 5,000 gold coins. Can I do that? Oh, you remember the cat teaser one? Is that what this was? Wait, hold on. Hold on, I want to see this. You remember so your back and realized there was no cat teaser one inside. Sad! Okay, well, we didn't. Okay, spend 5,000 gold. Let's do that one. Dark hammer level up. Huge. I like that. Say goodbye to Catherine. Bye, Catherine. So now my dark hammer is one level away from max. Dope. All right, lead time.
Elite time, let's go. Oh, elite approaching. LOL, elite right there. Ow, he punched me in the face. Alright, we're gonna. That wasn't even wait, that wasn't even the elite. Okay, it's the bear. Oh, it was a double elite? Let's go. I like that. I dig. No, I didn't want my I didn't want that already. There's another mag double magnet. Okay. Is this a baby arena? Hold on, it's like a tiny arena. Like very tiny. Can't see my mouse. Found it. We're good. We might as well. Might as well cast it. More dodge. Love dodge. Dark hammer. Let's go. Smack him with the power of hammers. Magnet, because sure. 11 seconds. Another magnet. I wanted the healing potion mostly. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Awesome. All right, what do we get? Uh, Lower our damage just a, a wee bit. I will. I'll take this. Blood. Oh, we don't have blood or fire. Rude. Uh, This isn't bad. And we're already a decent level. I'll take this. Ooh, but summon skill power. No, I'm taking this. Okay, cool. Oh, more. Okay. Armor piercing. Wind skill. Well, you know, just gotta give me stuff that I don't have. Oh, let's go. I mean, this did like no damage compared to the summons. Luck. I'll buy that with enemy respawn range like range I like this whole shop. Give it to me. Go ahead. I'm going to save refreshes just in case I need them for the end. Here's the campfire. All right. What do you got for me? Skills? Anything? Poison trap. Okay. No. I already have landmine, don't I? Get me out of here. Smuggler. I'm not going to deal with the smuggler. Here's this person. Catherine. This is who we were talking about earlier. Um, there was some that I saw that I really wanted to. So this one. Yeah. Get rid of my dash cooldown. I'll just take. I'll take it. It's fine. It, it doesn't have to be great. I would rather have my negatives gone. Then. Like that. Just get rid of negatives. Because why? Why have them if you don't have to? Endurance. Move speed. I like it. Knockback. Sure. Shatter. I guess. Fine. Um, trap skill. I don't think I have a trap. Okay. Wind strike. We're not wind. Toxin. Okay. Dash. I like it. All right. We're done with that. Cool. Let's talk to the fire. Recover our energy. Artifact master. Master. Oh, we're going to grab this because, yes, that was a lot of damage. Range, scavenge, skill, cooldown, dark power. Huge. And now we're broke. Yeah, we're not going to sell anything. I like everything I have. Like, you could sell, like, doubles if you want. If you know, you could if you want to. We're good. Confirm. All right, let's see what we got here. Get 10,000 coins. I don't think that matters going into the last boss. So we're just going to level up the Dark Phantom Knife. And it's a boss. I do believe the final boss. Remember, don't spend your right click on this guy because he's just the elite. He is not the, the boss. The boss has like a cinematic when he joins. Oh, didn't mean to click that. All right. All right, here comes, I think, the boss. Maybe. Nope. Still another elite. Okay. That's fine. 
Dark Phantom Knives. Yes. Here we go. Dum -dum. NVIDIA, you killed many of my men. Demon blood is the most delicious delicacy. You are more of a demon than me. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. We're definitely a lot more powerful than we were against the last boss. Like, it's not even close. Yo, an elite approaching with a boss? Oh, he's a big boy. Also felt like I was being slowed. Man, like no, no orange potions on the ground. Like my right. Oh, let me out. I don't know if this is his final form, but we find out. I surrender. Stop. Sorry, I will end your pain. Ah. <laughs> nice. Uh, I don't know if it keeps going. We're about to find out. Um, you're just going to sell this. Yes. Give me that. Give me that money. Uh, just sell that too. Sure. Oh my. Tome of Knowledge. Ooh. This has more stuff, so give me that one. You survived. I did some good damage. Wait, are we not done? <laughs> Hold on. Bye. Shop refresh, yes. Pharmacist. Buy the whole shop. Give me it. Oh, there's a new one. I did not know this. All right, let's um, we're going to speed through this one. So give me all the events. Wow, I didn't realize there was going to be that many events. Cool. <gasps> there's a new level. They added a new level. I like it. They probably said that in their patch notes. I should have read them. <laughs> okay, so it's all new to me. This is gonna be a little longer of a video. I hope you guys don't mind. I hope you enjoy this. I really do. That's exciting. I'm glad I didn't read the patch notes. Surprise. Now, if there's more after this, so we might have to call it. But I don't. I don't think there will be. Again, enemies. Your enemies will be faster until you get that soul gem unlock my enemies i believe are 10 percent slower i believe they could even be more but as you saw when they start filling up the whole screen it doesn't really matter how slow they are Yeah, hey, total time has only been like 19 minutes because it only counts, I think, the actual like game time. That's pretty funny. Well, might as well do that one just because it's so close to being maxed. I think we got hit there. That's OK. We had we had potions on the ground. Wow, did we get that thing for a third time? You're going to see why I said events, though, because we're going to, like I said, we're going to speed through this. I'm not even going to read the events. Ooh, tons of experience. Love to see it.
Uh, what do we want here? I'll take some range. I like range. Range good. Oh yeah, do the damage. Do the damages. Oh, uh, we're not even gonna bother with this stuff. Now watch. Okay, so we have to go. That's fine. I guess there was a bunch. I kind of went this way. Oh, I did go this way, right? No, I went this way. I was supposed to go this way. Sad. That's okay. We have to fight one more enemy. That's fine. Or two more. I meant to go that way. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, not reading it. Sorry, you guys can read it. This broken sword isn't more than 100 gold. Only a fool would buy it. That should be fine. Just buy it. It's fine. Cool. There we go. Super skill. Love to see it. We'll go fight an enemy. How long is this one? Two minutes. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. I like the new music too. Very calming. Ooh, gold pile. Give me that. Where did that altar get here? Was this altar here the whole time? Wow, I did a lot of damage. That did quite a bit of damage. All right. Let's say, let's go find a potion because we need it. <laughs> uh, was that a loot goblin that we just absolutely destroyed? Look at all this goodness. Pickup radius might be a thing I want, and I know I've lowered my pickup radius. <laughs> because of course I did. And still 25 seconds, huh? Two minutes might be a little long. Might might be a little long. Three, two, one. Hopefully we get that cube. We did. Uh, we can do landmine. That's fine. Wither. Holy power. Can I refresh this? I cannot. So let's just sell it. You know, the Holy Grail is uh, a legendary or tier five. Yo, actually... Give me that. Yeah, that's that's fine. I lose 8% HP. That's fine. Yeah. Ooh, normal attack cooldown. Let's take this too. I like anything that's doing my minion stuff because uh, we are doing a lot of damage with our minions. So, <laughs> so that is why we're taking that. Like, yes, please. See, our minions are just doing all the work. Move speed, I don't actually care all that much. I don't want to keep lowering my armor. Ah, we can buy it. I actually want it. I like it. Let's just go. We're fine. Uh, we're not going this way. We're going this way. Again, I'm not reading this. I'm going, yeah, I can't do it. Help the woman, help the man calmly. Observe calmly and do not interfere with their fight. Oh no. Oh, we gained experience. <laughs> I think we watched them kill each other and uh, we gained experience. Cool, I guess. Yeah, that sounds great. All right. So it's two minutes as well. Okay, two more minutes of fighting and then it's all events, campfire, and then final boss. We've gained a ton of soul gems though this run. We're already at 6,500, over 6,500. Yo, are we going to make it to the boss? Or are we just going to die? Again, this is the hardest difficult. Hardest. This is the hardest difficulty. <laughs> All 
Wow, we're okay. We're okay. We're okay. I think. Just don't get hit a bunch of times. I like our special skill. Gold pile, experience pile, all the piles, just not the pile of poops, please. Alright, 45 seconds. And I'm excited I'm excited to see the last boss. Or what we think is the last boss, right? A cube. We like cubes. I see a magnet. Let's go. Oh, we're just going to keep on leveling up the landmine because that's all we have left. I could have got soul gems, but that's OK. We can leave mines. Ow, whatever that was, that hurt. I didn't get to the potion in time. I don't think potions transfer over. Nope. They sure don't. Give me armor. I like armor. I want to be tanky. Little tanky. Uh, continue. Bye, sure. Bye. Bye. And we're going to go do events. We're going to, like I said, we're going to barely pass the stone gate. Wisely leave the stone gate. That's fine. So we got experience because we're smart. Uh, go to this one. You can pause these and read these if you want to. You remember the broken sword that the orphan has sold you earlier? We got a long sword. Very cool. Uh, we'll level up the landmine. Go to this one. How many problems have many enemies? Could be. I'll sign up to fight through hell. The demon couldn't possibly. So I refuse to participate. Continue your journey. I think that would have taken me to like another fighting level, so that's why I did not take it. Campfire. Uh, skills. I don't think I need those. I don't want you. I'm not going to worry about those right now. Um, we'll bonfire. We're not leaving camp just yet. Does he have anything? I will take this. This does lower my HP again. But that's okay. Let's get out of here. We're not worrying about you. Let's go. We're going to go fight the boss. What is this? Is this like kill? <gasps> it's the Drake that was flying over. Ooh, I like that. Oh, OK. Listen here, bud. I don't like that one bit. OK, so you have to kill a thousand enemies, it looks like, to uh, Ooh, max landmines. Let's go. Boss coming. Lurker. Ooh, fun. Now tremble with fear. Use demonic power. This is not behavior your god will tolerate. I and I know him. If I beat you to ashes here, no one will know. <laughs> Arrogant. True. Shadow Flame Ostaz? Why you gotta leave as I'm casting stuff? That's rude. No, I got hit by a fireball. That was rude. Excuse me. Oh, you're still not dead. You over here just ruining my my life. I dig the music. All these mines that we just laid. Fifty percent. Are you going to change? Oh, 
orange potion. Love to see it. Ooh, whatever that was hit us decently hard. Where's my health potion? I see you over here. Wow, you're really, what a big map. Is my range up yet? It's about to be. Oh, oh, that was so much damage. Let's go. What? A king shall not die. Ra. <laughs> oh, what? Uh, hashtag unexpected. <laughs> oh, geez, we leveled uh, soul gems because soul gems are permanent. Well, permanent. Oh my goodness, we're gonna die. Please no. Let me heal. There's a potion up here somewhere. Oh, I don't know what that was, but I think it hit us. Hard to tell. Oh, that hit us. That hit us hard. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Potion. Thank you, game. Like, where is this little guy or the big one? Okay, one down, one down. Like, did he leave me again? Okay. Like, where are you, little buddy? Two percent. Ha ha, the pawn ate the king. Thank you for freeing me from the cycle of pain while you, worm, continue to play the game. You feel dizzy. Ooh, eliminate the bone dragon. Let's go. That was pretty cool. Is it going to keep going? I swear. I think it's going to keep going, isn't it? Okay, come on. Just sell. There's no way there's another map, is there? Just sell this. I don't even care. Oh my goodness. How much did we get? Oh my word. Okay, listen up here. Hey, there we go. I think we, I think we finished. <laughs> so these are all the artifacts that I think I unlocked. Oh, be sure to collect. Oh. Oh my goodness. I have to collect them all. Okay. So, okay. You, okay. Collect all your new ones. Cool. You won't have to do this like towards the later. I forgot all about this. Like I can't collect them. It's fine. I think we're good. 
Now return. Leave. The heroes of Aurorium defeated the immortal black dragon, but still did not find the legendary ancient artifact. The black dragon king said that this was just a game. Who was manipulating this game behind the scenes? Continue. There we go. Now see, they'll have stories here um, in my artifact vault. Now I have a lot more artifacts. I didn't have this many when I started. I was like here. Very cool. Very fun. This video is very long. Thank you if you still made it this far. Again, enter the giveaway. Leave a comment down below. Click on the Google Docs. Fill it out. And I will draw for the winners. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more of this game, leave a comment down below as well. Like this video. Subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching. It really means the world to me. Thank you again to the devs for being so kind and so awesome for sending us keys to give away. I really hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. Take care, and we'll see you next time. See ya.